Hey guys, in this video we're gonna be taking apart three tripods and giving them a good bath and hopefully putting them back together again. If you shoot around the ocean or around sand, mud, anything dirty, uh, you end up getting a lot of sand and gunk inside the threads and then they get gritty and a lot of times they oxidize way faster than they should and it just shortens the life of your tripod. We've got three tripods here. This is the Really Right Stuff 34L, Faisal 3472, and then this is my old ancient Enduro AT214. This is an aluminum tripod. So let's get started with the Really Right Stuff. Okay, so things that you're gonna need. Uh, one of the things that I like to do every time I take my tripod apart is adjust the tension on the legs. Uh, a lot of times they either get really loose and floppy or they start binding up and getting tighter and tighter. And so we're going to use Allen wrenches to adjust that while we're at it. Um, we're gonna need clean towel. We're also gonna need dirty towel for cleaning the grease and the grit out of the threads. And then when we put it back together, we're gonna to put a little bit of bearing grade grease. This is aluminum anti-seize lubricant. I got this in an auto parts store. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of this on the threads so they thread nice and smooth and they don't get all bound up. And also, you've got a bowl with some uh, soapy water and you're also gonna need a bathtub to run your legs under. But let me show you how the really right stuff pulls apart. You unthread the leg here, take it all the way off like so and then you just pull the leg out, like so. And then the only thing holding it in place, well, for starters, is this these two little sleeves, and they're just held in place by this hole here. And you take those off, and then on our, on this here, there's a little sleeve inside, we'll hold it up here, inside our threads there and uh, you need to pop that out and you kind of fold it in on itself. You pop that out and then you wash the whole thing off. Let's dive into one of these that I've never cleaned <laughs> or never taken apart before. Let's start with the Faisal. This is the Faisal 3472. This is the one that I've uh, made a couple videos on. I loved it when I first got it and then the legs started to bind up to where I can't, um, you don't want to operate properly. But, Let's, let's grab this here. We're going to unthread it starting here. Unthread it all the way off of the threads. Like so. And then it looks like we have a very similar clip that goes on the threads. So we'll take this off. And then in here, we have a series of rings, which it looks like it goes short, wide, short, wide. If we look at it here, we've got these series of rings and then we've got a, another uh, sleeve that goes around here. And these are really, really gunked up. There's so much salt from shooting around the ocean that it's pretty nasty. Then we're gonna slide all that stuff off. Remembering that it goes, whoops, there's one that is beveled. Actually, they're both beveled. So the beveled one goes against this part here. So when I put them on, it, get, it has to go beveled, not beveled, beveled, not beveled. So I'm going to put all of this stuff in our little cleaning solution, including this guy here. I'm gonna wash this up. And the way that I like to do these is I like to do one set at a time. That way I never I never mix up the parts and because they're all different sizes. So uh, I would do these three last sections first, get them all cleaned up, put back on, and then I would move on to the next part. I'm going to go wash this off under some water and make sure to get any gunk that's inside here out of there. So I'm gonna go do that. <music> Okay, so I've got this nice and clean. Cleaned out the inside. Now we're gonna take our parts, make sure that we got these nice and clean. If there's any kind of grit or sand on these, when you go to slide the legs in and out, you're really going to notice that. Cleaning these parts off, 
And really probably the most important part is going to be getting these threads and these threads super clean. And the most important part of all of this is making sure you remember what order they came off the legs in. Taking a photo, like just with your phone, probably something I should have done. So we got this all dried off, got those threads cleaned. Now we're gonna start putting this stuff back together. First goes this guy here <clears throat> with our sleeve on there, like that. And now we have to put our rings on here. So it went beveled, not beveled, beveled. That last sleeve on. And just like the really right stuff, there is a little nub that fits inside the hole on this leg. And you gotta get those lined up and have them kind of pop into place like that. That way they don't spin. In theory, we should be able to slide this back inside. Okay. Now this is the point where you're going to want to apply the grease onto these threads. You want to make sure that these threads are nice and clean. So I'll use my dirty rag first and then we're going to take a little bit of this aluminum grease and not too much of it, just enough to coat the threads thinly. We're going to put this on all the way around. I went with this aluminum grease because you can actually see it and it's just easier to keep track of and easier to keep clean. And now we're gonna thread this on. I'm gonna thread it on all the way and then thread it back off and do that several times. That way it spreads all of that grease through all the threads. And man, that is so much better than it was before. Grease is nasty stuff. We'll see if it works. <laughs> so, I loosen it, slides in and out nicely. I'm gonna go to tighten it. Let's see if it locks it down. It does. These ones aren't tight. So good, we put it together right. And now it's got nice smooth action. That's awesome. So that's the Faisal, really simple. Um, just remember what order all of those little rings come off in. Okay, let's take a look at the Enduro and see what that one's like. The Enduro is an aluminum tripod, and I don't think it's ever been cleaned. So this one could get ugly. Like the, these legs don't even want to slide in and out. It's really, really bad. So when I'm taking this off, there's all kinds of grit and dust and probably sea salt just falling out of it. It's really, really bad. And there's just like a fine dust everywhere on it. So this one ha again has a very similar sleeve. It's held in place by these little notches here. So we're gonna put that sleeve in there. And inside of here, looks like there's another sleeve. It's ribbed and that this rib is what keeps it in place in here. Soak them in that water. And then I'll take this leg in and give it a good bath. And then I'll be right back. Man, and these plastic pieces are just chewed up from all of the sand and grit. Okay, so step one is to try to get this sleeve back in place inside of the, and we'll slide this on, like so. Put this in where it's lined up with its little holes. This is lined up, so we'll slide this back in. And then before we thread this on, we'll put a little bit of thread stuff on there. Careful not to put too much on. We don't have too many threads. Thread it on, work the threads a bit, work that grease in. That's crazy how much better that is. That's insane. All right, so that's how you take apart these three different tripods. Let me show you how you adjust the leg tension. You have your two Allen wrenches, and there's a sleeve inside of here that these two that these two bolts thread into. What happens when your legs begin to um, work themselves loose or just cinch themselves up tighter and tighter, what's happening is that that sleeve that's on the inside of this joint is getting bound up. Um, so if you have the constant problem of your legs coming loose, it's because you need to take that, that sleeve out and put a little bit of grease or like a graphite like a dry lubricant, put that around there. That way when you open and close that leg, it turns freely. You can loosen it first 
and you want to get your tension or at least I like my tension to where I can pick the tripod up from the leg without it flopping open but it doesn't take a whole lot more force more than that to open it up something like that like that's perfect I can pick it up from there without it flopping open but just a little bit more force and I can open it that way it's going to stay in place and you don't have to reef on your legs to open them up. All right, I know it's kind of dry and it's not the most entertaining thing in the world. If you've made it to this part of the tutorial, uh, you really need to get a hobby or something because you have too much time on your hands. Um, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email or leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.